What's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to a doozy. Um, sorry if the audio in this room or anything else might be off-putting. Um, I'm still working on my space. The back kind of looks a little bit more depressing than stuff that you guys are probably used to. But you know, we're here for the content today. You guys wanna see a Christian react to Donda. I previously reacted to a video um, Lil Nas X's music video, and I reacted to it. Now, I think that a lot of you guys are kind of hazy on what a reaction video is. With Lil Nas X's video, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to show a video of someone doing the stuff that Lil Nas X was doing. I'm not going to be playing Kanye West songs on here because as y'all probably know, be a really quick way to get my video taken down. So I have already listened to um, a lot of the songs on the album and I've formed my opinions and I'm also going to read off some of the lyrics um, for these songs and kind of let you guys know what I think about them. Are they, are they biblical? Um, are they worldly? Uh, what do I believe about Kanye West? Do I believe that he is a real Christian? Do I believe that he understands what it means to be a Christ follower? Do I think that he's close? Do I think that he's really far off? Or do I think that he's just totally fine? Without further ado, let's go ahead and react to the first song um, on my list. And it's going to be one of his more popular songs from the album. Um, this one is called Hurricane. Um, and so the very first thing that really stood out to me when I started listening to this song was I hear The weekend on it. And I think that in one of my past videos, maybe even in the Little Nas X video, um, I think that I talked about The weekend and his history of having satanic imagery in a lot of his music videos and everything. And I know that there will be people that come out and say, Oh no, the upside down cross, that's like a, that's like a, a Jewish thing or like a Catholic thing or whatever. I'm sorry, you don't put upside down crosses in like a, a music video like that when you've already kind of got a lot of satanic sort of storytelling and, and imagery in your music videos. That's not the biggest coincidence in the world. Like no one in the hip hop industry is like, Oh yeah, man, I'm gonna totally like rep that like Catholic, like, you know, Peter hanging upside down on the cross thing. No, that's not what he was doing. He was straight up advertising for Satan in that video, if you ask me. So the very first thing that really stuck out to me was, okay, Kanye has got The weekend on this song. His voice is very recognizable. Kanye did not credit like any of the people that were actually like on this album. I know that Jay-Z is on the album and he's not credited. Um, a lot of other guys, um, guys like Playboy Cardi, guys like Lil Baby. Hurricane, it starts out, and I'll, I'll read off some of the lyrics here. See this in 3D, all lights out for me, all lights out for me. Lightning strikes the beach, 80 degrees, warm it up for me. Finally free, found the God in me. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, I guess that that probably means that, you know, he's found God, I guess, is what he's trying to say. Um, and I want to see you. I can walk on water, a thousand miles from shore. I can float on the water. Father, hold me close. Don't let me drown. I know you won't. So, you know, it might kind of sound a little bit interesting theologically. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that that sounds horrible. Then I'm not sure whose verse it is next, but... One of the really common themes in these songs is talking about a lot of really worldly um, things, just really secular things. So for example, one of the lines here in the song is, if I'ma stay that same young hungry from West End, wrote my hardest wrongs and the crazy part, I have no pen. Maybach interior came with sheepskin. Still remember when I just had three bands. Now I'm the one everyone calling on cause I got deep pants. Uh, bro told me to wait to beat the game, it's all in defense, and never phased by names. They might call me, but they can respect it. Um, there's just, there's a whole lot of talking about material things. One of the absolute worst cases of this, and it's usually not Kanye that's actually rapping about this stuff, 
but even still, the, the fact that he has these artists that are so incredibly secular, and I know that there are people um, that'll say, oh yeah, well they talk about God in their songs and they say they're a Christian. Like, okay, let me give you an example. Chance the Rapper, and I know that this might offend some people, Chance the Rapper, to me, does not behave like a Christian whatsoever. Um, he kind of talks a little bit about faith and everything, but then he's straight up like on a song, you know, cussing a lot and talking about getting high or at least having other people on his songs that are talking all about getting high, which is totally not biblical. I don't care what you say. If you're a Christian and you smoke weed, you need to stop that. That's not, <laughs> not something that we are supposed to be doing as Christians. Okay, so this is, this is verse two uh, with Playboy Cardi. Um, off the grid, homicide, homicide, what? Got tats on my ribs, tattoos on my ribs. I just tatted my kid, Onyx. I just threw 20, count it. You know, you know what he probably said. Hey, we just took the route to Charlotte. I'm in a Rolls Royce bleep on what you call it. I light a op blunt and let your bleep <laughs> try it. I'm off the grid and wanna die, what? Uh, <laughs> I appreciate, okay, let me just say, I appreciate that Kanye will, at the very least, bleep some of this stuff out, but here, here's my, my big issue, and this is what I want you to take away from this video if you take nothing else away. Kanye, in a way, having these guys on his album is endorsing people being completely lukewarm Christians. So if you listen to Kanye and you're just kind of like a casual, kind of lukewarm Christian, you probably wouldn't even consider yourself a lukewarm Christian, but you just don't really know that much about the Bible. You might look at the, the Kanye's and the Bieber's of the world and be like, wow, those guys have really got it together. Um, but you look at the, the people that, that they involve and Bieber's probably way worse with the, the actually doing the, the swearing and the talking about material things himself. Um, but you kind of follow a little bit of what Kanye does in his personal life. Um, and I think Kanye, I think that in a lot of ways he's a really sincere guy. And this is in no way to assassinate his character or to act like Kanye is purposely leading people astray. Um, but what I'll say is that when you release a song with guys like Playboy Cardi and The Weeknd and, you know, all these people with really godless content and you release it like this, you have to be stupid not to think that, that kids and, and just anybody in general wouldn't look at this and say, okay, Kanye is supposed to be right with God. And he's endorsing all of these guys that talk about, you know, having sex with multiple women at a time and making tons of money and killing people. And then they talk about God and talk about like God's got them. I can tell you exactly what's going to happen if they keep on living like that. God's going to tell them that I never knew you when they get to the gates of heaven. They're going to, God's going to say, depart from me because they never surrendered their lives to Christ. You can pray all the prayers that you want to pray, but until you actually surrender your life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and let him come in and, and take control of your life, really give your sins over to him. You can't be living in sin and, be, and give your life over to Christ. It doesn't work that way. So there are going to be a lot of people, like a lot of these rappers that think, oh yeah, me and God are cool, man. Like I smoke. And I, uh, you know, I drink and I have sex with whoever I want to, but at the end of the day, me and God are cool. Or they'll say, I've had, I've had friends before that have said, you know, I'm young right now, so I'm just going to kind of live the way that I want to live. And I know that I'll get right with God later. Well, guess what? That a lot of the time does not happen. And the harder your heart becomes, the longer you know the truth and don't act on it, the harder your heart's going to get. And so I look at some of these um, features that Kanye's got on here um, and things like uh, Hurricane, Heaven and Hell, um, Off the Grid. Um, just all the stuff that they talk about. I mean, it, it's just so much like, oh yeah, I've got this great house. Yeah, I, 
And it's really off-putting to me when you've got guy like, you should never, to me, have a song where you're where where you're talking about God like seriously, and then you're having to like bleep out like every three or four words. Like that's just to me, that's just like that's sacrilege. Like, do you guys know what the people that wrote the Bible originally did whenever they wrote God's name down? They literally had to, like, burn the pen, like, wash their hands ceremoniously, and then begin writing something else, uh, writing with a different pen. Like, you can't, <laughs> you can't write God's name and then drop an F-bomb, like, a few verses later. Like, that's, to, th- there's something, there ought to be something so wrong with that to our spirits that we just can't listen to that sort of thing. So that's kind of my reaction to Donda. I'm sure that I'm going to get comments saying, oh, you didn't really react to it. Um, I mean, look up the definition of reacting to something. Basically, something happened. I'm giving you my opinion. Um, Yeah, so if you want to ask me, would, you know, should you listen to Donda? I would say no, don't listen to Donda. And please, please don't take your example of Christianity from any of the people in this album. None of us are perfect at all, but I just feel like Kanye's kind of got one foot in the world and one foot in heaven. And until he stops trying to please, you know, maybe some of these guys are his friends in Hollywood. And unfortunately, you might have to lose some friends. Um, you know, we're going to, to go through tribulation in this world. And like, I have friends on Instagram that probably are offended when I don't like their posts. But I'm sorry, if you have a post that's all about like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make lots of money this year, or, you know, <laughs> some like really worldly secular thing, like, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna like your post. like. It doesn't matter how tight we are. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to support a bunch of secular stuff because I, I don't think that that's the way that we should live. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you haven't seen my little Nas X video, uh, I think that I'll probably editing Sam will probably put a a button up here for you guys to go watch that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you made it this far. And I will talk to you guys next week. Thanks, guys.